What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more police. And going back to Ghost in the Machine, 1981. Big shout out once again to Lori, as well as to Stefan, who had made Synchronicity available to me a little while ago. But given that we were already going forward in time through their albums, I sort of had it on hold for a while. So big shout out to all the people involved in the police deep dive. And the next tune on Ghost in the Machine is too much information that's right so obviously i'm familiar with a duran duran song by this name which i reacted to i think the studio version a couple different versions i think a live performance uh so i don't remember what i said in all those videos but the very concept of too much information is like cacophony it's the idea of so much information that it becomes incomprehensible or so muddled that any clear messaging is now obscured by the sheer volume of data. So yeah, whether that relates to someone's psycho-emotional, you know, stream of consciousness and the way that they experience the world and feeling overwhelmed or like overstimulated, or whether it's just a, you know, a comment on society, which I feel like would maybe be more likely just, you know, based on a couple of their songs. Um, and the way they will offer a social um, observation or critique here and there. So, yeah, I don't know. This is 81, so, you know, we're not talking the internet or anything like that, where, you know, songs like where you might be getting at the idea of super saturation. I feel like in the digital age, they become even more um, intensified or um, exponentially relevant. Nevertheless, uh, we are talking, you know, an age in which computers are becoming more of a aspect of society. Obviously not everyone has a home computer in 81, but um, I, I wonder what might be at play here. So I'll try to catch what I can. Let's listen to it. This is The Police. Too much information from their 1981 album, Ghost in the Machine. <laughs>
are wearing. Um, that's a cool tune. That's like. It's interesting, it reminds me of like a funk pop sound, like mid 80s, and obviously this is a few years before that. Like it, you know, it, it's not exactly the same sound, but it's the kind of brass heavy tune that wouldn't be terribly out of place on, say, Duran's Notorious album, perhaps. At the very least, like, the brass is obviously the main sonic sound of the tune and all those layers, and again, perhaps deliberately super saturated arrangement. Um, but again, it also had a bit of the police's, you know, reggae pop, like reggae rock type of feel. It wasn't like full on in that regard, but just a little bit of the rhythms and like vocally, I feel like it fit into that idiom. So yeah, sort of like a funk reggae rock pop tune, I guess. Um, and yeah, a fun track. It feels like it was mainly internal, the idea too much information running through his mind, making him feel like he's going crazy. But he's also saying like, and I bet you're like that, and everybody's like that actually. So it is an external observation as well. And again, maybe not the same reference points that this song in the mid '90s might require or you know speak to. But um, still, the idea of you know the '80s and you know anytime I think about '80s music and you know messaging about society, I think of the Cold War you know, sort of framework of everything, but again, the rise of, you know, computers and digital technology, um, still, again, in its sort of early or at most, like, adolescent stages at that point, but beginning to affect, um, you know, the way people get information and um, network with each other in a, you know, more literal sense. In any case, um, a still a cool song and one that I enjoy the sort of hybrid flavor of the sonic atmosphere. So uh, looking forward to, uh, as I said, not only the remainder of this album, but getting to Synchronicity, uh, given that a couple people have uh, brought it to me. Uh, and ultimately, uh, we do have five, yeah, five more tunes here, although we do have the B-sides as well. Um, and there's four B-sides, so um, yeah, we'll see what we can do, but either way, um, I'll get through everything eventually, whether, you know, I decide to go straight to synchronicity or whether we uh, do the B-sides now. Um, but again, even if we go straight to the next album, I will circle back and get to the B-sides. Um, either way, the next tune will be Rehumanize Yourself. I love that phrase. I wonder, again, um, if we're talking both internal, you know, introspection and also external assessment and or prescription. Regardless, uh, we will explore that next time. Shout out once again to Lori for sharing. Do let me know what you think, and we'll see you then. Peace.